Are you an elementary school counselor looking to build up your classroom library? Well, you're in luck. This video series, I'm gonna introduce specific books that you can use for classroom counseling lessons, individual sessions, and even small groups. Each book will be aligned to specific character traits and can be used for social emotional learning. My name is John and I'm a middle school counselor, but I used to be an elementary school counselor and one of my favorite parts of the job was story time. In this video, I'm gonna introduce one of my favorite books and that is Ricky Sticky Fingers, written by Julia Cook and illustrated by Michelle Hazelwood Hyde. So meet Ricky, a cute little boy that just can't seem to figure out that stealing is wrong. When his prized bicycle is missing, Ricky learns firsthand what it feels like to have something stolen from him. So I like this book because it's a very easy read and it's fun. And what makes this book so fun is that Ricky has convinced himself that he can't help but steal because his fingers are just so sticky that things stick to them. Part of the book rhymes, so it's really cool if you get into character when you're reading it and just create little voices for all the characters involved in the story. So this book, of course, addresses lying and stealing, but I love how it touches upon the topic of violating people's personal space. And I love how the character at the end experiences empathy because he's able to relate how other people might feel when their things are taken from them. Another really important life lesson that this book touches upon is redemption and second chances. So I've used this book in individual and small group sessions to help students understand the importance of restorative practices and making amends for the things that they do. And if you're looking to purchase this book, you can find it on Amazon for about 10 bucks. So it's really inexpensive, but it's a great addition to your classroom library. And again, it's a fun read. So you can find some really great resources on Teachers Pay Teachers for fairly inexpensive to go with this book so that if you're doing classroom counseling lessons, you can have some activities to go along with it. I also shared my personal story to make it connect to a real life situation. So a couple years ago, I left my work computer and my backpack in my trunk. And normally I lock my car every single time, but for some reason, maybe I forgot to do it this time. And someone stole my work computer. Thankfully, I wasn't held liable for it and I didn't have to pay for it, but I lost all of my work that I had accumulated over those years. And so I told students how it made me feel for someone to violate my personal space. And it really helps students understand the real life implication of stealing from other people. Have you read any Julia Cook books? Drop a yes or no in the comments below. And be sure to come back for week two when I introduce a new book that you can use for character education.